Hey, what is going on everybody? Today in this video I'm going to teach you 5 different ways you can mirror your iPhone screen to your Samsung TV. Now the first method I'm going to share you needs Wi-Fi connection. That's pretty simple, just click the menu button on your remote control of your Samsung TV and just go to the network settings. Now if you are doing for the if you're doing this for the first time just like me, just follow my steps or or you can just skip this step because I'll show you how you can connect your uh, TV to your Wi-Fi network. So go to the network settings and it will search for all the Wi-Fi nearby. So that's my connection and I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Once you click on your connection, it will ask you for Wi-Fi password. Just enter your password and click done. And it will take a few seconds depending on how far your router is. It will connect your TV to your Wi-Fi connection. So if you don't have a Wi-Fi internet router, you can also create your hotspot from your phone too. It's pretty simple. Now, if you don't know how to create a hotspot, you can watch my other videos where I've shown you how to connect your uh, TV to your uh, phone with using mobile hotspot. That's pretty simple. Now, once your once your TV is connected to Wi-Fi, uh, let's get to the iPhone. So it's pretty simple. Now, on your iPhone, go to the Apple Store and download app free app called Zender. Now, it's a file sharing app for your computer but we'll utilize this app to connect our iPhone to our Samsung TV no, no, without using any wires of course so uh, just make sure your uh, mobile your iPhone is connected to Wi-Fi network exact same Wi-Fi network as your TV is connected now click on that top icon your icon and then click connect to PC then it will show you two addresses either you can choose the IP address or you can go with the uh, web address so uh, once you get that screen, go to your TV, click uh, Smart Hub, and go to the browser, Samsung browser. I don't know what's that called, but it's a browser for uh, browsing. Uh, open that browser and go to the web address called www.web.zender.com, or you can also directly go to the IP address too. It's pretty simple too. So uh, I just go to the address because it's simple to type instead of typing numbers. Once you go to the address, click scan for the barcode. Once you click on that scan, it will take a few seconds, literally a few seconds to connect your iPhone to your TV. Now, it will show you uh, like your videos, your pictures, your music, even documents, even show you how, um, like, uh, how much space do you have in, on your iPhone. That's it. Now, it's pretty simple. Now you can use this method to download like files from your iPhone or maybe you just want to show pictures to your family or you just want to learn some stuff and that's it. I mean I use this uh, method for uh, you know downloading some uh, photos to my TV because I have uh, you know USB connected to it and also uh, to, to study maybe you know take p uh, notes and stuff like that that's it. Now uh, you can also disconnect this by going to your uh, menu and click that connect to PC settings. Once you do that it will show you there is a uh, Chrome or there is a browser connected to your iPhone. So once you have done that it will just click on that disconnect button and it will automatically disconnect your iPhones from your TV. Now that's pretty much it. Now just jump to the number 4. Alright guys number 4 is pretty pretty simple as always. Now, and it, when, I, when I say mirroring your iPhone to your TV, you can use pretty much, uh, you know, any app that supports videos. Like in this, like like iMedia Share, uh, it's a free app right now, and you can just download it for free from Apple Store. Once you download that app, it will show you that you have like options, photos for uh, option for photos, videos, even music, even browsing if you want to. So uh, just make sure your phone is connected to the Wi-Fi net network as uh, like your TV needs to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network too, just like before. Now once you, once you make sure that your wi -Fi, uh, iPhone is connected to the Wi-Fi, you can click on any option you like. If you want to show pictures, you can just click on pictures. Like for example, I'm going to go ahead and click music and I will find, I mean I have tons of music on my iPhone. so. I can go ahead and click songs and these are my music so if I want to play any music I'll just go ahead and select that specific music that I want to play and then I'm gonna click done and that way I'm telling that software to, to play that song to my TV and when you click done it will show you multiple options like for example my TV I do have other TV but it's currently offline so I'm not showing, my, showing me my Sony 
So just click something and that's pretty much it. It will show you free, uh, a few options like how to control and how to control volume and stuff like that, but you can just skip that, it's pretty simple. Now, it will connect that music to your TV. Now, but before connecting that music, well, your TV might ask you about, do you want to connect that device to your TV? Just go ahead, click allow, and that's pretty much it. Just a few, few, sec few seconds and then voila, that's it. Now you can pretty much view anything, like quite literally speaking. You can view videos, you can watch you can you can watch videos, you can play music, you can uh, view your pictures, that's it. And you can do this by uh, you can also do this if your iPhone is locked, like if you want to play some music on your TV and you just, you just want to go sleep or something like that. Then just go ahead, play play some songs and uh, just lock your device, that's it, that's it. Alright now, jumping to number method number three, that's fairly simple every method I'm showing you is pretty simple now you can do this without opening the YouTube app too if you want to but just to be on the safe side just click on that smart hub button on your remote control of your Samsung TV and then it will show you all the different apps on your TV now if you don't have a YouTube app on your TV you can download YouTube app from Samsung hub and uh, stuff like that or maybe you can download Netflix too like I have so open the YouTube app and uh, that's it don't do anything else now when you open the YouTube app it will allow our iPhone to connect your to our TV using that YouTube app now this feature is simplest literally simplest now open your I, I mean like check out your iPhone and open the YouTube app on your iPhone it's pretty simple everybody have a YouTube app on your on your on their iPhone so when you open the YouTube app, type any video or any search any video that you like to play on your TV. Just click on that video, and when you click on that video, it'll show you a little icon of screen mirroring in the top right corner, like for example, right there. That you can see that screen mirroring icon at the top of my uh, top of my iPhone. So uh, that's the screen mirror icon. That means that your iPhone knows that there is definitely a TV running YouTube. Now. As I said before, you don't have to open YouTube app on your TV. So when you click on that icon, it will show you that it's connecting to the nearby devices. Like I have, like I have multiple TVs in my home, so this is going to connect to the nearby, which is Samsung, right there. You can see that's connecting to Samsung. It might take a few seconds depending on how far your iPhone is from your TV. So in my case, it took about three to four seconds, maybe. And that's it. I mean, it, well, you can now literally you can control everything. You can add a music uh, playlist. You can pause the video. You can change the video. E even you can uh, seek the video if you want to. Like for example, if I if I don't want to play that scene, I can seek that video to to uh, 25 seconds, and that's it. That will work on your TV. That's it. The problem is that you can't view that video on your iPhone if that video is playing on your TV. So that's that's a kind of a bummer anyways and you can play videos if you want to but the problem is that if you close the YouTube app that video will work but after that it will disconnect your iPhone from your TV now that's a drawback so if you want to play your uh, music just play the music and just lock this iPhone while the YouTube app is running in the background don't close the app that's that's the that's the that's the important part now Number two. Now, honestly, I have I should have done this, but I uh, actually have made a different video about method two. I have a whole different video, complete video about this method two. Method number two. I'll I'll link that video in the description box below, so you can guys you guys can watch it. Now, if you have no idea how you should do it, or you don't want to watch that video, it's pretty simple. Just download the uh, A Power Mirror app on your iPhone and on your Android phone. This method needs Android phone. So right now I'll be using my Robin as you can see on my screen. So when you download AirPower on both your devices, it will ask you to connect both the devices each each other. Once you connect your iPhone to your Android phone, now you can connect your Android phone to your TV using a screen mirroring feature on your Samsung TV. Now I'll show you in a minute. When once you are connected, that's it. Now honestly speaking, if you don't believe me, you can watch that video. I'm literally speaking that watch this just watch that video. I have, I have a complete different video about this because it, it would, would have been, it would, this would have made the video pretty uh, uh, long. That's why I don't want to you know 
uh, burden you. That's why this is the method. This is by far one of the best method if you want to do this completely wirelessly. And that's pretty much it. Now I'll show you that this screen is being mirrored on my Android and then to my TV. Uh, that's pretty cool, isn't it? So that's it. Now I'll show you the method number one that's just in a second, but let me show you that yes, this screen is being mirrored by my Android phone. As you can see the button on buttons on my uh, TV. So okay, so this is my Robin and as you can see that my iPhone is being mir mirrored to my uh, Robin, next bit's Robin. So uh, yeah, pretty cool, right? Now you can pretty much uh, watch anything. You can play games if you want to. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's that's method number two. Just don't lock the Android phone. If you lock the Android phone, you won't be seeing anything aside from a black screen. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now you do need Wi-Fi on both the devices, not on your TV. Actually, you do need on your TV. So anyways, now coming to method number one. Honestly, I should have done it, but I don't think so. But I have a different, complete different video about method number one. Now, I'm pretty sure that you know, you guys know this already. But you need to have a laptop or your desktop PC to to make this work. Now, once you connect your uh, desktop or laptop PC to your TV using HDMI cables or even wirelessly, if you want to, I have a different video about that too. So once your laptop is connected to your TV using any cable or any wireless method, after that download a software called Air Server. As you can see on my background, it's running on my computer and when I click on my screen mirroring on my iPhone, it will literally show me that there is a Apple TV nearby. When I click on that, it will connect to my desktop PC. Now that's, that's cool. So thank you so much for watching guys. Please subscribe for more because I'll be uploading tons of more videos. And if you like this video, please like, leave a like. And if you have any questions, you can hit me up on my Twitter, Instagram, or even Facebook if you want to. Or just leave a comment and I will surely get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you, li I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe for more. Peace out.